SpaceX has just kicked off 2023 with the New Year's first orbital launch, and it's freaking cool! At 9.56 a.m. Eastern, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rock rocket lifted off on Transporter 6, the sixth dedicated launch under the company's small set rideshare program. SpaceX says Transporter 6 deployed 114 payloads for dozens of paying customers, making it the second largest rideshare mission ever launched. Additionally, marking the latest apogee of a growing cottage industry largely enabled by SpaceX's affordable and regular rideshare launch services, Transporter 6 carried an unprecedented number of space tugs developed by five separate companies. At a minimum, Transporter 6's expansive payload roster included Launcher's first Orbiter Space Tug, Epic Aerospace's first Chimera Space Tug, Momentous Space's second Vigo Ride Space Tug, and two D-Orbit Ion Space Tugs. While their capabilities vary significantly, all of the space tugs or transfer vehicles manifested on the mission have a similar purpose. Transporting satellites launched at launched as rideshare payloads from their rockets one size fits all parking orbit to an orbit more optimized for each spacecraft's mission. In theory, that concept could eventually take the shape of a service that lets operators send their satellites to a wide variety of orbits and still take advantage of the savings enabled by rideshare launches, particularly from SpaceX. But that time has not quite come yet. At the moment, only a few providers have successfully demonstrated space tugs with propulsion systems, and most of those proven options only allow for small orbit tweaks. One tug built by Spaceflight has partially demonstrated the ability to climb from around 300 kilometers to more than 1,000 kilometers. Rocket Lab's Electron Kickstage is arguably the most successful in low Earth orbit, and the company has also shown that Photon, an upgraded version of that kickstage, can send payloads to high Earth orbits, or even the Moon. Future tugs could enable routine changes on the order of hundreds or even thousands of kilometers for multiple payloads per flight. Many prospective providers, including Momentus and Epic, hope to follow up their simpler prototypes and follow in Rocket Lab's footsteps with tugs capable of carrying satellites to high Earth orbits, the Moon, and deep space. SpaceX's transporter missions and the space tugs that frequent them all serve the same purpose, getting satellites where they need to go for a diverse range of customers, and Transporter 6 deployed a number of interesting payloads. In partnership with Nano Avionics, French startup Gamma launched its first solar sail prototype in the hopes of one day lowering the cost of deep deep space propulsion and exploration. Momentus will get a second opportunity to demonstrate its Vigo Ride Tug, which is powered by an exotic water plasma propulsion system. Spire launched the first prototypes of an upgraded satellite bus. Orbital Sidekick launched its first Earth observation satellite. Link Global launched an in-space cell tower to test the ability to broadcast 5G from space to the ground. Australian startup Skycraft launched its first batch of Block 2 air traffic management satellites and will deploy them with with its own free-flying Deployer 1, which is essentially a space tug without propulsion. Planet launched dozens of new SuperDove Earth imaging satellites, and Ukrainian startup EOS launched Agrisat-1, the country's first commercial satellite. Following Transporter 6, SpaceX's small sat rideshare program has launched approximately 566 payloads in less than two years. Additionally, SpaceX has launched more than 3,600 of its own Starlink satellites since November of 2019 for a total of well over 4,000 satellites launched in a little over three years. Interestingly enough, Transporter 6 is not only SpaceX and the world's first launch of 2023, but also the second time SpaceX launched one of its Falcon 9 first stages 15 times. This rocket has previously launched the GPS-3-3 satellite for the U.S. Space Force, three other commercial missions, and 10 batches of Starlink satellites. It now seems possible that the company will fly one of its rockets as many as 20 times by the end of this year. In 2022, SpaceX was able to dramatically increase its launch cadence by both ramping up Starlink satellite production as well as maturing its operations to reuse Falcon 9 first stages and payload fairings. Previously, from 2017 to 2021, SpaceX averaged 22 launches a year, with an annual record of 31 flights in 2021. Last year, the company very nearly doubled its previous record. The question for the new year, therefore, is whether SpaceX can take another leap in 
and Cadence. SpaceX founder Elon Musk said in August of 2022 that the company aimed to launch 100 rockets in 2023. That seems like the upper bound of what is possible. However, given that the company was able to launch seven rockets in December, it is perhaps not unreachable in terms of raw production. Of course, nothing in launch is straightforward, and another important factor will be payload readiness. Of its missions in 2022, 27 were for governments or commercial customers, whereas 34 were the company's Starlink internet satellite payloads. Assuming about 30 flights for government and commercial customers, approaching 100 launches in 2023 would require SpaceX to nearly double production of its Starlink satellites. That too is a big ask for the disruptive California launch company. But after seeing its remarkable performance in 2022, one can perhaps not rule out big asks. In another piece of amazing news, Elon Musk's space company is raising $750 million in a new round of funding that values the company at $137 billion, according to correspondence obtained by CNBC. Last month, Bloomberg first reported that SpaceX was allowing insiders to sell at $77 per share, which would have put the company's valuation near $140 billion. The company raised more than $2 billion in 2022, including a $250 million round in July, and was valued at $127 billion during an equity round in May. According to an email sent to prospective SpaceX investors, Andreessen Horowitz, also known as A16Z, will likely lead the new funding round. Early SpaceX investors included Founders Fund, Sequoia, Gigafund, and many others. A16Z also participated in Elon Musk's leveraged buyout of Twitter, a $44 billion deal that closed in late October of 2022. SpaceX and A16Z did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Last year, SpaceX achieved several new milestones, but faced delays to its Starship program, which is part of NASA's effort to bring astronauts back to the moon. On the upside, the company's satellite internet service Starlink exceeded 1 million subscribers and provided a lifeline to users in Ukraine who suffered infrastructure disruptions after Russia's invasion. SpaceX also managed to surpass 60 reusable rocket launches in a single year via its Falcon program. The company is currently continuing development of its Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicles at the company's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. It's not clear when the company will move to the next step of the program, which entails an orbital launch test of these larger vehicles. As Musk has repeatedly sounded off about geopolitical issues on Twitter, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson recently asked SpaceX President and COO Gwen Shotwell whether his distractions as the new owner and CEO of Twitter might affect SpaceX's work with the space agency. Nelson said that Shotwell reassured him it would not. And that's about it for today's episode. We thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.